How's it going guys? Coffee here. Today I wanted to go over what I think is the best uh, farming strategy for people that are in T7, honestly going all the way up even to T8-4. Um, it's pushing uh, up there with basically any farming strategy you can do in the game. Um, with my tests that I did on it, I was pulling over 1800 FE an hour. And that is doing a boss rushing strategy on T7 in the... Um, Thunder Wastes zone here. The tree we are using is this T7 Bosch Rush. It's not that much different than what we were running before. The main things we're going for is we are going for Dark Surge, which is honestly a decent chunk of the income on the build or on the tree. And then the other stuff is going to be 46 points here into the compasses and another realm um, stuff here. And then we just have a little bit of points into uh, God of War just to basically get the additional movement speed with it for your profound talent of course you still need this to be in your star shard drop chances here so the reasons why we are doing it in this thunder waste zone is because it has a really good divination card that you do end up actually getting a decent amount of even on t7 so with this map grove of calamity which is demiman village from the glacier zone um, you are going to still be killing basically every single monster um, along the way while you're actually running to the boss. So um, this is a strategy that does require you to have a character that does move fast. So it's recommended if you are getting started on this that the first income you spend money on would be the candle to um, increase your movement speed for every kill. Um, the other things to keep in mind is again if you are running your map as you just saw me do you have to ensure that you are waiting until after the boss is dead in order to um you have to wait for the boss to be dead before you click your dark surge um, button in order to ensure that you are spawning dark surge bosses so um with this again the majority of the money you're going to be getting you're going to be looking for cocoon flame drops or you're going to be looking for these t8 beacons that are dropping and then for the um for the uh, edicts that are going to drop from the dark surge bosses um, that drop at a decent rate. Um, if you don't see bosses, you can honestly just leave like right away. You don't need to keep clicking that other thing. You don't even need to be clicking the end of God of War. Um, realistically, all you're going to be getting from God of War would be um, some ghost slaughters that are most likely to be bound. But, um, you know, there's always the chance you hit something very, very expensive with just your... Um, with that, just from your rate of getting... Um, the um, priceless ghost slaughters as well so um, those are always there but as you can see um, basically loading screen to loading screen when we were doing the tests or when i was doing the tests on this on stream yesterday um, we were looking at 35 to 40 seconds per um, map load screen to load screen um, you know if we're not running backwards looking for loot like this or we're actually looting it when we're supposed to be um, so that's saving quite a bit of time um, let's see i can show you the kind of the data that I had here on the um, boss rushing strat itself and the breakdown of what was got or what we were able to do, we did 90 maps in one hour, uh, 70 FE pier, um, not too much flame sand, um, just a couple FE worth, 20 FE in Embron cores, 6 FE in Truth Embers, 3 FE in Energy cores. Uh, as you can see, the edicts, we didn't even get any um, Doom edicts here, which are 180 to 200 FE each. But we were able to, um, oh, this is wrong. These are 50. The income is even higher. It's actually 2,000 FE an hour. I just miscalculated. I mistyped the value here that I put in here. So um, you can see here, again, um, the decent chunk of the income, like a third of it, is coming from your edicts here that you are getting to drop. Um, and then we are getting a decent chunk from T8 beacons. The star shards themselves, um, if you were to just straight sell them, would be 450 FE. Um, and then we are getting a decent uh, chunk of little um, money here from our Cocoon Flames, which we did end up getting four of. And then you're getting a decent chunk out of your compasses as well. Um, the winding keys, of course, they add up as well. But um, all in all, again, the majority of the income here is coming from your beacons, your edicts, and your star shards. Like this is, uh, what, this is 1400 of all the value that we're getting. Um, so even if you account for not getting any cocoon flame drops, which you are going to get them all the time, they're not a super crazy rare card. They're only worth like 60 FP or so. Um, so they do drop a decent amount. Um, that's pretty much what you are getting. 
Um, again, if you wanted to do this on a zone um, that has even rarer um, cards, you could do this in Blistering Lava Sea as well. Um, the card from Blistering Lava Sea is going to be um, the card Immolating Flames, which is the card that Cocoon Flame basically gives you when you get um, a certain amount of them. If you were to do it on this map, you could do it on like Twisted Valley or something. Um, or on Dragon Rest Canyon, or basically any of these maps, um, but you're not going to, um, you're going to have to, you know, figure out how to navigate the path a little bit differently. The biggest beauty about doing this, again, on um, Grove of Calamity is the fact that the map is very linear, um, and you, you know, you don't have to get lost, you don't have to worry about the, what the map looks like, and this map has the most monsters out of almost any map. It definitely has the most monsters of any map that is linear. Um, you are getting about 400 monsters when the map first starts um, on average, which of course is giving you a decent amount of loot or experience. Like, right, I'm running this purely on EXP pets. I'm not actually running this with any um, loot pets here because um, I didn't want to ruin the data, basically. I, did, I wanted to get data without loot pets. I was running this with EXP pets. I did go from like 96 to 97 just through the test. Um, so uh, your your expected income will be even higher if you're running this with some loot pets, um, possibly just to get some additional um, fluorescent memories, things like that. Um, it might be worth doing, um, honestly, just going for Cocoon Flames because the percentage of actual raw FV drops you're getting isn't very high, but the amount of stuff that you are actually getting just from the other drops um, does add up to be quite a bit. As you can see, I already did get one pair of Ghost Slaughters as well, so if you are ever trying to play Erica um, or anything like her, then, you know, it's going to be worthwhile actually um, running in here and ensuring that you are actually um, self-farming some Ghost Slaughters for yourself because, again, buying them costs 3,000 FE or so, so no one wants to have to do that. Um, but, um, yeah, so I can go over my character here as well. What I'm doing for movement speed, you can try to do this yourself. You can pretty much do this on any build, which is really nice, or any build that has like a channeling skill you can do this on. Um, I actually, I am stacking a bit of, um, I am stacking a bit of um, blur effect here um, in order to uh, basically maintain a high level of movement speed here. So I have blur here and blur is giving me some movement speed and then between my boots and this ring I am actually getting over 100% extra blur effect. Um, which is basically just keeping it to where my blur effect is giving me 60% MS. Um, I'm actually faster I believe even if I just swap my boots which they're not here they're on my other character right now because I started to reroll but um, the main thing that is you can see why the speed is ramping up over the map is this um, additional damage skill area and movement speed for every enemy defeated recently because you get to a point where you're you've killed like 60 70 to 100 mobs in the last four seconds and then you're moving really really fast so that's mainly what you're looking for but if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below and i'll be more than happy to answer them and other than that see you in the next one